Let's try an example to design for the shear reinforcement of a reinforced concrete beam. The beam here has a span of 8 meters. It sits on 300 mm support and it is used to support an UDL of 200 kN per meter. The concrete strength is 30 newton per mm square and the steel bar grade is 500 newton per mm square. The questions ask us to check if the shear reinforcement provided can be used to support the ultimate shear load. The provided shear link is H12. The tension steel bar provided here is 2H25. The width of the beam is 350 and the depth of the beam is 650. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. To solve these questions, first you need to draw the shear force diagram. You need to first know the UDL load and also the reactions on the member. The width of the support here is essential for you to determine the shear force acting on the surface of the support. And the design shear load VED is actually at a depth distance from the face of the support. It can be easily calculated based on the shear force diagram here and to identify the exact locations of the VED in order to determine the VED here. The calculations are demonstrated here. The VED now is determined to be 640 kN while the VEF on the face of the support is 770 kN. First, you need to determine the angle. Use the equations for VRD maximum 22 degree, you will get 745 kN. This value is smaller than VEF of 700 kN. With that, you will proceed with checking with VRD maximum 45 degree, which is found to be 1081 kN. Based on the result here, you know that the VEF is falling in between the 22 to 45 degree. You will need to determine the angle of the shear load. By using these equations, you know that the angle is equal to 22.7 degree. Next, you need to check for the shear resistance of the link. First, quantify the area of the shear link over the spacing. As the shear link is provided in the mode of load, the area of the reinforcement bar it will be equals to pi r square times 2 as given in the equation here. It is divided by the spacing S. You will obtain the ratio of ASW per S equals to 1.29. Substitute the value into these equations together with all the other relevant values. You will get your VRD resistance equals to 781 kN. Your resistance of the member is greater than the VED, therefore the shear resistance is considered satisfactory. Next, you need to check for the additional longitudinal tensile force in the tension steel. And dot these equations, you will know it will generate an additional tensile force of 765 kN. You need to check the bottom steel bar whether it is sufficient to provide resistance to this additional longitudinal force.